Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to be showing you how to get images or video um, out of one of these cameras. Um, this one specifically, as you can see here, it is a Sony D Sony DCR SR32. Uh, to take it out of this camera specifically, you're also going to be needing one of these. It is essentially a plate for the camera to go into, and it comes out of the cable and into a USB. Uh, in my case, if you don't have uh, the camera and this little plate to put the camera onto, you will actually not be able to take the images or data out of the camera, since it is quite old and doesn't have any kind of clear connection. As you can see, the connection for it is this. Just a little bit um, weird and it's a little bit hard to do. So you're going to need one of these base plates or the camera for it. Okay, so once you have it connected onto your computer, as you can see here, uh, you'll have to turn it on. So, so you're going to want to turn it on and you can see here it's just turning on now. In the screen, you'll be able to see that there's all these icons. You're going to go for the top left one where it says computer and there's a little like um, storage icon right there. So yeah, the top left one is going to be the one you're going to go for. After selecting the top left one, it's going to say connecting or preparing. If it says connecting, you're probably fine. Uh, do not unplug the USB cable. Do not turn off the power. That's when you know you're doing it correctly. So after we have this connected, we're not going to go on our PC. Okay, so now on our computer, we're going to have to do a few things to be able to remove the videos and photos from the camera. So first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to download a software that's going to enable us to access those photos. So since the camera is a little bit old, we cannot just access it like if it was a new device just plugged in. We're going to have to download the software. So just Google Play Memories Home. This uh, link to the website we're gonna be, is going to be in the description and you're going to want to download this thing right here so just press accept click download once you have it downloaded it should be like this and you're just going to run the exe follow the instructions and you need your camera to already be plugged in to be able to use this one and you're just going to run it and it should work just fine now if it doesn't work we're just going to have to do a different method um so let's say this one doesn't work for you. That is completely fine. I had a similar problem. And the way you actually fix it is I have this older version of the program that I downloaded a while ago. And you're going to have to run this one. So the way that you do it is uh, you're just going to have to check my description. And I'm probably going to have some kind of file uploading site. And you're going to have to download this file from me. And you're just going to unzip it. Remember to unzip, it's very important. And then you're just going to run this exe, and that'll download the rest. You're just going to have a little download wizard, and it's going to tell you, like, hey, do these steps, accept, accept, and then install, and it should be fine. Once it's installed, you're going to have this open up, and you. But essentially, you should find something where it allows you to import media files. Just play around with the settings here, uh, and you should find it. And then when it says import media files, this is the button you want to hit. You're just going to hit this and then you're going to be able to access all the pictures and everything you need. So for example, when I click it, it hits, it gives me these options. We're going to hit import new files. And here we'll be able to check all the pictures. So they're going to create it like this. Uh, the pictures I took were not created in 2007, however, for some reason the camera has a little bit of a bug. As you can see here, they were created a few days ago, uh, sorry, this uh, earlier today, but they're quite broken, so they actually think that it's from 2007, when that's absolutely not the case. Your camera might have some similar issues if it's pretty old, or well, you haven't changed any of the settings. Uh, I created a new folder here, and I name it Sony Handycam, and then I just stored all these uh, files into that. So it creates, I think, files for different days. So that's how it stores every pictures and whatnot. And you're just going to be able to access them by clicking the one that you want. And you're going to have your pictures here. When you have them here, you're just going to click on them and you'll be able to look at them, probably download them, whatever you want to do with them. Okay, so now it's going to be really easy. You can just see that the pictures are right here. And then 
yeah, to be able to access them since you've already imported them, you're just going to have to click on these on this folder in this case, and you'll be able to open the pictures. No problems. Uh, all the pictures should be JPG files, so nothing that your computer can't open. And yeah, that's essentially how you do it. Hope you enjoy the video, and yeah, see ya. I thought I should also mention before the video ends that when you try to record a video in this camera specifically, the video file is a little bit weird and for example let's say that I uh, try to record a video in the camera it'll probably pop up like this for you so you have the folder inside in this case of pictures and it's gonna show it like this and our computer well my computer can't actually uh, see the video if I try to open this it's just gonna be a uh, audio file no video um, so if you want to actually see the video, very simple, you're just going to have to go on Google and search for npg to mp4. In my case, I'm going to use this one. It'll also be in the description. And it's really easy. You're just going to go, want to go to the video and upload it here. Now you're just going to hit convert, and it's going to convert the video into an mp4. Now, even though there's two videos here, the one that has the audio or the one that is like a little bit larger is going to be the video one. The other one, I'm not too sure what it does. I think it might be some kind of info file so the camera knows how to use it. So that's the reason why it's there, I think. Or it's something you really don't have to concern yourself about. Just upload the file here, then hit download, and the video is going to work just fine. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope this video helped you out.